Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure to welcome everybody here for Greystone College Vancouver's September 2020 graduation. Now, we all know that 2020 is an unusual year and our students haven't been able to come to the college and the last six months of their study has been online. However, during this time, I've been really proud of both our instructors and our students at the great success they've had. Um, and I think it's fair to say that uh, even with all the co-op and the, the work that students do, it's been difficult finding jobs at time, but I've also been very surprised at uh, the resilience of our students uh, and the great success they've had in finding jobs and being successful in the jobs during this time as well. Thankfully now there are more jobs available and every day that's becoming more and more so. So thank you everybody, everybody for your patience uh, and thank you for all your hard work and your great success as well. Actually while all this has been happening, Greystone College has been looking at the future as well and what does next year look like. Already we're in planning, we have uh, a new digital marketing set of programs which will start in 2021, so we're very excited to, to launch those soon. Um, but also we've been looking at how do we continually improve and the feedback we've been getting from all of our students and all our staff have helped us look at how do we make the student experience an even better one. And I think you'll see some great things happening very, very soon uh, on our continual focus on having a great student experience. Um, one thing that we're doing from in two weeks time actually is when the classes come back, we're going to be having a, a blended learning approach in Grayson College in both the daytime and the evening classes. And those programs will look like half the class, half the students will be in the class at a time and the other half will be online. However, it won't be online learning like we've been doing until now. What we'll be focused on is uh, more face-to-face -face teaching where we'll have cameras on the teacher and on the whiteboard and then the students who aren't in the classroom can experience the, uh, a, a very um, student-focused uh, learning environment where they can see the teacher and see their classmates who are sitting in class at the time as well. So that's coming very, very soon. We're very excited about that. Um, one of the very important tasks I have today is to welcome our um, valedictorian. Our valedictorian's name is Danielle and Danielle has um, completed recently as well and the feedback we've had from our students, also not from our students, from, from our staff, is that she's very, very proactive and she's a great networker. She made the most of her time in, in, um, in Vancouver looking at how can she meet lots of people and find some great work op opportunities. Uh, I know that one of the jobs she worked at was at the Scotiabank, which uh, I believe she was very successful at. So I would um, like to welcome Danielle Magna Bosco uh, for her valedictorian speech. Thank you very much. Dear fellow colleagues, professors, family and friends, as this year's valedictorian of the graduation classes, I feel humbled and honored to be given the opportunity to address you with some last words before we close this significant chapter of our lives. Unfortunately, due to the current circumstances, we cannot physically be together to commemorate our accomplishment. However, I love that we are still able to connect virtually. I am currently in Brazil, in my hometown, Cascavel, in the south of the country. As many of you, I was able to complete the academic portion of our course online, which allowed me to accomplish the biggest dream of my life, study and live abroad. Thank you, Grayson, for making this possible during this challenging time. We are all graduating as a result of our hard work, commitment and sacrifices. The greatest challenge I faced, as I know most of you did as well, was leaving fam a familiar life behind and starting us at square one in a new country with a new language and culture.
Thankfully, Vancouver, Canada and Grayson College provided a welcoming and supportive environment thanks to professors, staff and students. Today we celebrate together. We made it happen. There is a beginning ahead of us, a fresh start to set new goals, reach for new found opportunities and accept new challenges. Believe in yourself, believe in the courage that brought you here. Everything is possible. Our hard work is now and always will be noticed. Celebrate, use your gifts and talents in the world. Gather your strength and enjoy the many adventures that lie ahead of you. I would like to express my gratitude to some of the people who've walked this journey with us. First of all, I would like to extend a special thank you to Canada and Canadians for receiving us, the international students. We came from all over the globe and found a home where we could grow and achieve our goals and dreams. To our ancestors, parents and sponsors, thank you for making this possible. Believing supporting, encouraging, and blessing us. It is a privilege to be able to chase our dreams. To the administration, to the instructors and staff. Your understanding, patience, guidance, and constant support were essential to our academic victory today and our job careers. Thank you so much. All of you supported us in different ways. You were available to us whenever we needed. The teaching format was also fun and very immersive. We were highly encouraged to voice our opinions and with that to practice English. Our interpersonal and leadership skills were tested and sharpened through class discussions, projects and group work. We have also created wonderful network that will carry into the future these are the things that made Grayston College extremely exceptional for me. Lastly, on a personal note, I would like to thank each of my dear friends in Canada. And a special thank you to John, Vesna, Karen, Kevin and Maria. I cherish many great memories and look back at my time at Grayston which nothing but gratitude for the privileged education and opportunities I received. And to conclude, I draw from the wisdom of Chief Don George, First Nations Chief. With love, we are creative. With it, we march tirelessly. With it, and only with, we are able to sacrifice for others. I wish you all the best to your future endeavors. Congratulations. July 24th graduates. The following students graduated and diploma in business communications. Chikanao Kasahara. Tong Tae-in Edgar Felipe Almeida Segantini Ilin Lin Itael Alejandro Pruneda Gutierrez Pidja Previato Pudo Mariana Fonseca Guerra Pedro Henrique Cardoso Sara Antonia Gold Simon Berg Zhu Hao Yuan the following students graduated in the Diploma in Customer Service. Andrea Vanessa Hernandez Hidalgo. Lina Maria Serrano Gomes. The following students graduated in Diploma in International Business Management. Matilda Madonna Camelli. Wu Bi Hyun. Shi Chin Lin. July 31st graduates. The following student has graduated from Diploma in Customer Service Co-op. Kang Chi Wan. August 7th graduates. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Business Communications Co-op. Chi Peng Wang. Ti Yu Wu. August 21st graduation. The following students graduated from the Diploma in Business Communications. Vicente Alberto Clement 
Jordi Plambanca Esteve, Paola Sanchez Perez, Daniele Magno Bosco. The following students have graduated from the Diploma in Business Communications Co-op Program. Carol Andrea Londono Suarez, Chushan Chang, Arthur Alpini Campos Feijó, Tang Yi Han, Julian Enrique Alarcón Prada, Lisa Regina Regi, Luis Morales Cardenas, Luisa Tozoni Mazafera, Natalia Arenas Garcia, Paola Ibarra Estudillo, Paulina Margarita Maldonato Tello, Kim Shen Ho, Yi Ye Chu, Kwon So Eun, Kim Ye Won, Yi Cheng Chu, Lenise Martins de Ramos, Rodrigo Santos Lima. The following students have graduated from Diploma in International Business Management. Alfredo Oramas Acuna, Bruno Colom, Vanessa Nihi Makiyama, Hu Yu Lu, Viviane Costa Ramos. The following student graduated in Diploma in International Business Management Co-op Program. Kim Tong In. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Customer Service. Fabio Rogério de Santana. Leonardo Siqueira Yamashiro. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Customer Service Co-op. Adriana Neves Mariano da Silva. Guadalupe Jaqueline Rojas Vasquez. Yi Hejin. Shio Saka. Kim Hejin. Malu Albuquerque Sanchez. The following student has graduated from Diploma in Hospitality Operations Program. Kim Chu Hyun. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Hospitality Operations Co-op. Kathleen Joy Bravo. Mai Takahashi. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Hospitality Sales and Marketing Co-op. Sandra Lopez Portillo. September 4th Graduation The following students have graduated from Diploma in Business Communication Co-op Juraj Sikhej André Diniz dos Reis September 11th Graduation The following students have graduated from Diploma in International Business Management Co-op Barkin Ozer September 18th Graduation The following students have graduated from Diploma in Business Communication. Angela Maria Hernandez Arias Eduardo Barreto The following students have graduated from Diploma in Business Communications Co-op. Karen Reis Nalini Philip Constantin Rodermel Renato Alejandro Diaz Medina Savio Victor Fernandes Melo, Débora Lima de Freitas Nobre Vacari, Douglas Cardoso Kiyokawa, Nurkan Simzek, Ubirata Herbert Andrade de Souza, Vinícius Simões de Almeida Loredan. The following students have graduated from Diploma in International Business Management Co-op. Juan Camilo Cepeda Soto, Mariani Azambuja Mel. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Customer Service. Juan Diego Rojas Gutierrez. Sandra Viviana Torres Chocanda. The following students have graduated from Diploma in Customer Service Co-op Program. Nam Pura. Omar Alejandro Gonzalez Guerra. Alessia Koreski. Alison Vanessa Romero Romero, Enrico Brito Schilling of Altruda, Magna Albino Brandão, Maria Belém Proano Castillo, Vanessa Cisneros Tenório, 
the following students have graduated from Diploma in Hospitality Operations Co-op. Murilo Felipe Couto.